everyone welcome back to my channel Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial in this video I'm going to show you how I make this really cute crocheted apron I'm making it so it matches sh strawberry shortcake but of course you can make it um, any way that you want so uh, stay tuned and um, I'm going to show you how to make this thing all right guys, on today's video, we're gonna be making this really cute apron that I made to uh, match my strawberry shortcake uh, cosplay outfit. So what we're gonna need is, I'm just using the Big Twist white yarn. Um, you can use any white yarn that you uh, you want, but this is, I got it from Joann's, of course, since it's Big Twist, and um, it's nice soft yarn. And I'm going to need some stitch markers, maybe even more stitch markers than this. We shall see. And I'm also going to need some scissors and my crochet hook. Now I'm using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook for this project. And um, what we're going to do is we are going to start with the um, belt that goes around your waist for the apron. So we're going to start with the belt. And by the way, I love these crochet hooks. My husband bought them for me for a present. They're super beautiful. And I haven't had a chance to really use them yet. So I'm super excited to do this. Now, you can start... So the belt needs to be around 75 inches long. So you can do a chain to 75 inches long and then double crochet back over that. Or you can do a chainless double crochet, which that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do one, two, I'm going to chain three times and then I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to work in that first chain from my hook. I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to pull up a loop, now I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to pull through one, and then now I'm going to make my double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. And that's my first double crochet made. So you can see right there, there's one double crochet. So now I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to go into this right here. So this little stitch right there is where I'm going into. So I'm going to insert my hook there yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. And again, you can do it this way like I'm doing it, or you can um, just make single crochets until you get to 75 inches long, and then you can um, just go back over and double crochet over that, or go, do one row of double crochets. So I'm going to just continue to do this until I've got 75 inches here. And then when I have that, I will see you back in just a few. I now have my 75 inches, so now I'm going to chain two and I'm going to turn. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work two double crochets in that first um, chain from my hook. So I want it to kind of be slanted a little bit. So again, I'm working two double crochets in that first chain from my hook. And then after that, I'm going to double crochet all the way down into the last two stitches. So I will... Um, See you back here when we get to the last two stitches. What I'm going to do at the last two stitches, I'm going to do a decrease because, again, I want that um, little slant there. So um, just one chain, uh, one double crochet um, all the way down now. All right, so now I'm at my last two stitches here. So I'm going to do a double crochet decrease. If you don't know how to do that, I'll link my video of how to do that in the description below. All right, so I did my decrease there. And now 
this is about an inch and a half wide the belt portion is so this is going to be wide enough for me if you wanted yours wider you could go ahead and do another row so if you start another row what you would do is you would chain two and then turn and then you would do a decrease here and then an increase on the other side again so here I'm just going to fasten off my yarn I'm going to go ahead and weave these ends in So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle. So what I'm going to do to find the middle is I am just going to fold it in half. I could count them, but honestly, I don't really want to. So I'm going to fold it in half to find the middle. And I'm going to mark my middle stitch. So now here's the middle. I'm just going to mark this middle stitch right here. And now I'm going to start the top of the apron. So the top of the apron, what you could do, I'm going to make mine about 12 inches wide. So if you're, if you want to make yours wider, you can. So I would just um, make mine, you can measure kind of the front of you to see where you need to be. So um, mine's going to be about, yeah, about 12 inches wide. So that means I need to, hmm, let me see here, it's upside down, sorry. So that means I need about six inches on each side of this. So I'm going to go ahead and get my stitch marker and mark about six inches on each of these sides. I'm going to count the stitches too though just to make sure that I'm even on the stitches. Because it might vary just a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to count. So that's one, two, three. And this is the uh, side that was your chain stitch side, by the way. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16. 16 on this side, so there's one in the middle, and then how many on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifteen, sixteen. So 17 on this side. So I could move one out or I could move one in. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move one out. So that will be 17 on one side, 17 on the other side with. Um, with one in the middle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach my yarn, grab my hook, grab my yarn and attach it. I'm going to chain two and now I'm going to go ahead and work because I'm not going to count this as my first stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and work a double crochet into this first stitch, the one that I attached to. Then I'm just going to double crochet all the way down and I am going to, uh, at the end, chain two and turn. The reason I like this hook too is because it helps me not be so tight when I do my stitches. It's really, really nice. I can do my stitches a little looser and it works really well like that.
chain two I'm going to turn and that chain two again is not going to be counted as a stitch because I think it leaves a hole there when you count it as a stitch and I don't like the way that looks so now I'm just going to keep doing this back and forth so I'm going to continue to go back and forth like this until I have about eight inches tall and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and make the straps now if you want yours taller you can go ahead and make yours taller than eight inches or if you want it shorter you can make it shorter than eight inches but this is um, how tall that I need it for what I'm doing and that's really about the average size um, that an apron is in. So the average size an apron is in is about 12 inches wide, about the top portion about 8 inches long, and then the belt's about 75 inches um, long. So I will see you back here when I get my whole 8 inches done. Okay, I don't know where, what happened to the video making the first strap, but I pretty much did the same thing I did for the um, second strap as I did for the first strap. So on the first strap, strap, what I did was I just, when I was at the end of my double crochet rows, I just turned and I double crocheted in the first four stitches and then I chained two in turn and double crocheted back and forth in those four stitches until I got to 20 inches long and then I fastened my yarn off and um, we're at that video now. All right, so I'm finished with this one strap, so let me just cut this off. I'll leave it long enough to weave in properly. And now I'm just going to touch it, attach it to the other side and do the other strap. Now remember this needs to be at least 20 inches long. So let me just attach it here. Actually, I'm going to do this way because I do not crochet in that direction. Make that long enough also to weave in properly. So again, I'm working my double crochets in this first stitch. I'm just going to go four stitches and then I'm going to chain two and turn. And just remember that that chain two does not count as a stitch, okay? So this is, let me see, how many do I have here? I have one, two, three officially, one, two, three. This one is four now. So I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to turn, and now I'm just going to go back and forth until I get to 20 inches yet again, and um, each time I get to the end, I'm going to chain two and turn, and then I will meet you back here when I am done. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the top part before we start the bottom part. So there's some top details we need to do. So I'm going to finish that first um, before we start the skirt part of our apron, guys. So I will see you back here in a few. Alright, so now I am going to, uh, I've got my 20 inches, so I'm going to just cut this off, leave it long so I can um, put it in later, so I can work all my ends in later. So here, what I'm going to do now is um, I am going to make some little ruffles on the sides, um, kind of like Strawberry Shortcake obviously has her little ruffles on the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it about 10 inches up. So I'm going to start in the corner. So I'm going to start in this corner. I'm going to mark where I'm starting also. That way I don't get confused or anything like that. And then I'm going to mark about 10 inches up. So let's see here. So 10 inches from there is about the stitch right here so let's mark that stitch right there not to go over that one and then I'm gonna do that on the other side also so let me get a couple more stitch markers so here I'm just gonna count these now so there's one two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so I went up seventeen on this side so let me go ahead and mark this side also. I'm just going to mark it right here at the corner. 
And then I'm going to go up, say 17, is that what I said? Um, I think that's what I said. 16, 17, yep, yeah, 17, alright, so I'm going to go ahead and mark this one right here so I know not to go over that, and I'm going to grab a different crochet hook, so I'm going to grab, I think a 5 millimeter, I just have the straight one here, so that's what I'm going to use, so this is an area that I'm going to stitch pretty tight so I'm just going to start in the corner right here and I'm going to do half double crochets up and I'm going to do about three let's say half double crochets per uh, double crochet because again I want this to be um, I want it to look very uh, I don't even what is the word here gosh So I'm just going into the sides and I'm doing right now three per double crochet right in the sides here. And I hate the holes that it creates but there's really not a good way to um, get beyond that to my knowledge. I'm just going around that hole post right there and you can go in the middle so it doesn't have to be perfect let's put it that way so again it doesn't have to be perfect I just really want it to look very uh, ribbony so and I may be making more than three I may not be though I'm not real sure to be honest with you because I'm working in this middle stitch here also. So I'm putting three in that middle stitch there so it's really, really curvy, or roughly, roughly, that's what I want. That's the word I'm trying to get to, roughly. So I want it to be very roughly. So again, just doing half double crochets all the way down and about three per double crochet and then kind of in that middle stitch there I'm doing another three so I again I want this to be really really roughly So I'm pretty much putting one or three half double crochets in each double crochet again and then I'm putting it kind of in the middle, three more in the middle on a lot of these just because again I do want it to be really really roughly so but you do it however you want. If you want as many ruffles as I do then this is how you'll do it though. I'm just going to put one right in that stitch too, or not one, I'm going to put three in that stitch. Alright, now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn and you can see it's starting to create that little ruffle there. So now I'm going to do three double crochets, or three triple, 
Oh my gosh, I'm going to do three half double crochets in each one of these stitches all the way down again. So this is going to make it really, really roughly doing three half double crochets in each one of these all the way down. And if you get confused about where your first half double crochet is, then you might want to go ahead and mark it actually. So I could take this stitch marker out and just mark where I made that first half double crochet. That way I don't get confused. So I'll know that I'll end in that one later. See how it's starting to make the ruffle here, so this is exactly what I'm wanting.
All right, so I'm at my last stitch here. I'm going to work three half double crochets in that last stitch. All right, so I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn. So see how it looks very ribbony here? That's exactly what I'm wanting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do half double crochets all the way down. So one half double crochet now. Uh, did I chain one? I did. Okay. One half double crochet all the way down and until I get to the end. And again, you may want to mark this one just to make sure you're working in the right one. So let me mark that one. And um, you're going to continue to do half double crochets now. Um, rows of half double crochets until you get to I think around two inches is going to be what we're going to look at here so so you're just going to do rows of half double crochets back and forth until you get two inches long so that's going to be several rows here because this is row three that I'm on right now so with row three I'm about an inch so it looks like you're going to need I would say maybe six rows to get two inches so um, I will see you guys back here when we get to our two inches alright so I have my six rows completed and I really like it I think it's cute how it's bunching up and I did try it on just to make 100% sure that I like it so I do now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to fasten this off and I'm going to leave it long so I can work the ends in really nicely and I'm going to go to the other side so again I'm just going to do the same exact thing on um, this side that I did on the other side so repeat what I what you just did on the other side and um, after this we are going to work in our ends on our top part and then we will start on our bottom section guys so just repeat what you did and I will see you back here after all your ends are worked in alright so now I've done both sides the ruffle on both sides and I weaved all my ends in so now it's time to start our skirt portion so I just kind of took the average of what an apron really is wide here. So an apron's about 21 inches wide at the top normally. Now if you want to do another measurement, please feel free to. So I marked the middle stitch already. So this would be about 10 and a half inches would be the middle of 21 inches. So we're going to mark on each side now. Um, what the beginning and end of 21 inches looks like. So I need to that in the middle and then over here mark this stitch right here and then spline it back up and then on this end you can't really see this in. Let me move this over a little bit so you can see it. So on this end right here, kind of line this up right here. So we're gonna mark this stitch here. So I made it just one stitch, like I went on the wide side of the 21 inches. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach our yarn here and we're just going to start double crocheting. So we're going to do, first we're going to do just one roll of double crochets to begin with and then we're going to do some increases because the bottom part I would like it to be wider. Um, I don't want it to flare a lot because on strawberry shortcake it doesn't flare a lot. So we're going to attach the yarn and we're going to go ahead and chain two. And then we're going to make a double crochet in that same stitch that we attached. And if you guys haven't seen this already, I like to work my little piece of yarn in so I know it doesn't come out. So now I'm just doing one row of double crochets all the way down.
All right, so we're going to chain two and we're going to turn. So we have our first row of our skirt portion done now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do one double crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to do two double crochets in the next stitch. So now we're increasing it just a little bit. And then we're going to repeat that all the way down. Just so you understand um, what I was meaning. So you want to do uh, one double crochet in the first stitch and then two double crochets in the next stitch. And then you want to repeat that pattern all the way down until you get to the very end. I just want to make sure you guys understood um, how I was doing the increases. So I'm doing that all the way down. One double crochet in one stitch and two double crochets in the next stitch and then repeating it all the way. All right now, so I'm going to chain two and turn. And I'm going to go ahead and measure how wide I am now. So I just kind of want to know. So we're around 26 inches now, so that's pretty good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a row. So this was our, that was our second row. So our third row here is going to be just be a row of double crochets all the way down. So just one row, double crochets all the way down. And I will see you back here when you, we are done with this row of double crochets, guys. Alright, so I'm at the end of row three, so I'm going to chain two, and then row four is going to be the same thing as row three. I'm just going to do um, one double crochet in each stitch all the way down until I get to the end. And for mine, I'm going to make this 
about 15 inches long. You can make it longer or shorter depending on um, how long you need it to be. And um, for strawberry shortcake, it doesn't need a ruffle on the bottom, but I think it would be really cute with the ruffle on the bottom also. And if you wanted to do the ruffle on the bottom, you could do it just like you do, or you did the uh, ruffle on the sleeves. So that would just be three double or three half double crochets in each stitch on one round and then three half double crochets on each stitch in the next round and then do it to probably a couple of inches to make a really cute ruffle on the bottom part. But again, Strawberry Shortcake has not got a ruffle on the bottom of hers, so we are going to make a ruffle on the bottom of this one. So again, I'm just doing one double crochet per stitch all the way down. Then when I get to the end, I'm going to chain two, I'm going to turn. And then we will be on row five. So I will see you back there in a few minutes, guys. All right, guys, so now we're on row five. And on row five, we're gonna repeat that increased row. So we're going to do one double crochet in the first stitch. And then we're going to do two double crochets in the next stitch. And then we're just going to continue that pattern all the way to the end of one double crochet in one stitch and then two in the next stitch. And again, just repeat this pattern all the way down until you get to the very end. And then when you get to the end, chain two and I will meet you back here. All right, I'm at the end of my row. I chained two and I turned and I went ahead and measured this. So now I'm at 41 inches in length here. So being that I'm at 41 inches um, or width, I'm sorry. So I'm at 41 inches width here. So being that I'm 41 inches width, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do rows of double crochets now, making sure to chain two when I'm at the end. And remember the chain two doesn't count as a stitch and till I get to my 15 inches and then I am going to be done. If you want it wider than 41 inches, then you would um, do, do the increased row, which is, um, one double crochet and then two double crochets in the next stitch and then you just repeat that all the way down so you do that row then you would do two rows of just double crochets all the way down and then repeat the increase row until you get um, the width that you need but I'm at my width right now 41 inches and so I'm going to do this now until I'm about 15 inches long um, because that's how um, long I need for my uh, costume but if you want yours longer you can just go ahead and keep going till it is the length that you need and um, I will see you back here when I've got my 15 inches done guys so see you back here in a minute All right, so I'm finished and I have 15 inches now. And so I'm just gonna tie my yarn off. Um, it took me 21 rows to get my 15 inches. So here, I'm just gonna cut this and I'm going to weave in my ends now. And then I'm going to uh, finish weaving in all my ends, take all my stitch markers out, and then we are officially done with our apron, guys. So I hope you enjoyed making this with me. Um, I will have the end result, of course, right now, but thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it, and um, like, comment, you know, all the stuff, all the stuff they tell you to do, peoples. So, uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel, share this to anybody uh, that you think would uh, enjoy it, and I will um, see you later. Happy hooking, everybody.
thanks for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed making this with me if you did um subscribe to my channel push the like button and make a comment thanks for watching and happy hooking everyone